This glimpse of the future is presented exactly as received from Moscow with its original commentary by a Soviet woman speaker. A cosmic rocket is about to be launched. Destination, the moon. The rocket is propelled by a spaceship. Engines speed up its flight and the rocket races on ahead. It's made in three sections. When its fuel is exhausted, the first section of the rocket breaks away, then the second. The speed is increasing all the time. It finally attains its tremendous proportions that the rocket flies by inertia. Powerful radar stations keep it tightly clutched in the feelers of their radio signals. Automatic instruments in the rocket send radio impulses in reply. They are received by a ground station. The entire flight is guided from here with the help of electronic counting machines. The rocket races forward along an orbit that has been calculated in advance. A command from the Earth, and it launches out another orbit. The fuel supply is exhausted. A refueling rocket is sent from the Earth. It nears the rocket and transfers its fuel load. The rocket has now zoomed past the area of the Earth's gravity and flies on towards its goal. Now it's already in the zone of the Moon's gravity. A radio signal from the Earth and the rocket turns its tail towards the Moon. The engine now slows up the speed of descent. A laboratory on tank treads cruises along the surface of the moon. It shoots up an antenna. And a television transmitter goes into operation. There are no people in this baby tank. It too is guided from the Earth. Instruments communicate the results of their observations. Propaganda, wishful thinking, sober prophecy. We'll have to wait and see. The moon's a quarter of a million miles away, and meanwhile it can still take half an hour to get from Marble Arch to Oxford Circus.